I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm... I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Have a prosperous day. Um, what are you doing here? Well, there's nothing to see here. Nope, nothing at all. Laws, I knew it. Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. They escaped, and before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry, you can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, an agreeable yet reserved demeanor, and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. Please, do take care, and do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. Well, to maintain things, of course, like big humming machine things with gears. And pipes, water pipes, air pipes, all sorts of pipes. That's why they connect the city from the Acropolis district to here. Something else? What do you think you're doing?
Hortense yells at me about vagrants one more time. I'll see. They know who I am. This is all so very beneath. Oh, for the good old days when you could see. My dad taught me some French, you know? Stuff about omelets and, uh, from op. Gosh, I could take a look at that journal. By all means. I would be astounded, yet astronomically in your debt. Uh Burning the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, minister. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. Couldn't say. We've got a backlog and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years, but I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. You do that? Wow! Hey, you know, a positive review from the Minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Here's your parcel, to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. Law speed! In a bit. You all right, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Yeah? Let's see it. Looks like your papers are in order. All right, go on through.
How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! Minister Clark, what a remarkable honor it is to meet you. If this is about another Aetherwave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. That means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all, then? Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course! It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. He's attempting to game the system, but he won't be able to get away with it forever. Eventually, Rockwell's house of cards will topple. I dearly hope so, and you might be part of the equation. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out, and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. Captain, we must investigate Rockwell. An injustice like this cannot go unchecked. Indeed, it cannot. I can't overstate the urgency of the matter. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Halcyon Holdings Corporation, the collective of companies that run the colony together. Allegedly in partnership with the Earth Directorate and appointed Minister of Earth. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are.
Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Why indeed, I know so little about you, much less your motivations. But I'm afraid I don't have many options, confined as I am. Besides, I've nothing to lose. If you're looking into Rockwell, I can only hope you're also looking out for Halcyon. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck and trust no one in the Acropolis district. I'm going. Coming back. The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. Did you hear? Marjorie Dalton and Archibald Harris are redecorating real crystal faux windows. seem to like traveling with us much. Why in the architect's name would you say that? It's just that you're real grouchy. Kind of all the time? I'm not grouchy. I'm just, just irritated by inane questions. Yeah, see, when you say it like that, it makes me wonder.
sure. Be right there. Security. Incoming! Attacking! I'll take your confession now! of you. Beautifully. Understood. On my way. Sure. On my way. Sanitation and cleanup required. Phoenix, in the Incoming! Coming back! Let's go! That didn't work! <laughs> we were destined to prevail.
Processing. Leave them to me. Performing the area sweep now. Sis sweeping. Watch out! <laughs> 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 I'm going. I'll be right there. I'm on it! I'll fix you right up! I smite you in the name of the law! can be at times gruesome, or some might say entertaining to watch.
If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge?
Nicely done. You're an artist, Captain. Captain, I stand out here like a big, greasy thumb. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Auntie Cleo. A subsidiary of Holway Pharmaceuticals. Stay your business. I'm sorry, but I've already exceeded my friendly banter quota. Today's greeting is brought to you by Auntie Cleo, a subsidiary of Holway Pharmaceuticals. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Are uh, you DLs? So what if all those MSI suits made it on Monarch this whole time? I could do it. Easy. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Now, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? You don't have to be sarcastic about it. Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. You're cleared. Go on through. So what if all those MSI suits...
apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Ah. Oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? Excuse me, just a moment. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. I suppose that is admissible. Please try not to break anything. Sure. On my way. One person gets all this space just to, to sign papers. <laughs> a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, We'll all be back together again, working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. That was all... Captain, I was hoping for a word.
Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. I think I'm going to start taking my lunches out of the city. That way. Cafeteria. That scientist? The one who's been pounding? <laughs> I'm going. Like I said, X-36 clearance only beyond this point. And you're still not cleared. Hey, did Tillman get transferred or something? No visitors allowed, citizen. I'm gonna need to see some identification. Sure. I've heard that one before. Law Seamus. Makes you wonder what kind of things the lab cults around here get to forgetting. 
Just don't let me catch you again without your ID, okay? Nicely done. This area is for authorized personnel only. You're not supposed to be here, are you? I guess that's what I was wondering. When you put it that way, it does sound pretty unlikely. Still, you should go. I don't think the other guards will be as rational about this as I am. with you, Captain. I'm going. You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. I'm glad to hear that. This may come as a surprise, but I happen to enjoy your work. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. 
a rundown backwater barely worth the ink on a map until you showed up. Today, the region is profitable for the first time in years. Its workers are productive. They might even be happy. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. Not always. For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. You should be back on the Hope, frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. We raised security on the Hope after Wells broke in. As for discovering the identity of the missing colonist, all we had to do was scan the passenger manifest. Then let me help you make up your mind. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. There's exactly one vessel in all of Byzantium that looks like it dropped out of an Aether Wave drama. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. You are making a serious mistake. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. So Colonies on the brink of destruction for decades. 
The board's mismanagement put our colony on the road to collapse. If we don't put a stop to them, thousands of colonists are going to die. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space, just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! We bring the Hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Yes. Yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the Hope to the Unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra II. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. And that's going to work, without killing us in the process. I thought intrasystem micro jumps were prohibited for a reason. Yes, yes, there's always a risk of a catastrophic collision between the Hope and, say, Terra 2, in theory. But you'll be fine, provided your calculations are correct. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers, scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Certainly. How can I help? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the Hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Unlikely. The Hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the Rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. Huh. Are you free to talk? <laughs> 